Okay, so this is a demo of Netscope's native remote browser isolation functionality, which uses pixel streaming and renders websites in an isolated environment to ensure that the endpoint is completely isolated and completely protected. Okay, so the first thing I want to point out here is we've implemented RBI as a granular policy control that can be applied based on user identity, uh, user risk score, a variety of uh, different criteria, the location of the user. And then RBI can be applied to a specific website. Um, it can also be uh, applied to any of the, uh, you know, 100 plus categories of websites that are in uh, Netscope's Secure Web Gateway um, uh, offering. Now, what I want to do is I want to um, showcase a couple very common examples. Um, first is I have a policy here that is going to send um, traffic that is destined towards websites that have not been categorized by Netscope or any of the categorization engines that we use. So it's a website that hasn't been seen before. And what we want to do is we want to send that traffic uh, through, uh, through our BI. So that's the first one. Second is, is we also have a policy that is going to send uh, any website that is in the gambling category is going to send that through, uh, through isolation. So we have uncategorized websites and gambling. So let's go ahead and take a look at what the uh, user experience looks like uh, with this, with Netscope native RBI. So I'm gonna switch to a side-by-side -side here. And this first window that you see here, um, I am uh, basically in this on this uh, gambling site called BWIN. And uh, so this is without Netscope, if you will. So I'm logged in and whatnot. Let's go ahead and in this window, this Chrome window here on the right, this happens to be going through Netscope native RBI. Let's see uh, what, the, uh, what the difference is here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and the first thing you're gonna notice is you get the Netscope logo briefly. So that is the first indicator that this session is indeed going through Netscope RBI. Now the other indicator here, and if you look at both sides here, um, the one difference is that you can see here in Chrome in the tab, we've added a star uh, basically in front of the name of the website. Again, this designates that this is uh, going through Netscope um, uh, RBI. Um, the other thing that you can all obviously do here is if I, if I click into uh, this, um, I can actually go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and view the source. And this is the uh, not going through Netscope, so you get all of the, the website components uh, in its uh, complete uh, glory here. Uh, if I do the same for the site that is going through Netscope, uh, let's go ahead and look at what that looks like. Um, here, no, you, you basically get this nicely packaged um, uh, set of code that tells you that it's going through Netscope isolation. So that's basically uh, being able to point out uh, the difference, if you will. Now, from a user experience standpoint, uh, performance is very good. And, and we've optimized um, our streaming, pixel streaming technology for uh, performance. So um, if you look on the right, it's, it's uh, very, you know, from a user experience standpoint, it's, it's, uh, it's very good. So let's try the second website. This is, again, a gambling website. Um, let's go ahead and see what the uncategorized website looks like. So again, I'm going to log in on the left here. Um, looks like a getting sassy uh, website. And this is not going through RBI. Um, so I'm uh, just going to scroll down. There's a bunch of components on this page. Um, on the right here, going through RBI, let's go ahead and launch uh, that to see what that looks like. And again, I get the Netscope logo briefly. Um, and I'm brought right into the website. Let's make that a little smaller here. Now, what we've also done with RBI is because now we have control over all the pixels and, and we've rendered this website effectively, 
What we're doing is, for example, disabling download. So on the left here, without going our, through RBI, um, users and employees can simply click on links on websites and download data, and we all know that that is really not a good thing to do. And so I sit there and I downloaded this, what happened to be a piece of malware. Um, on the right here, if I go in and I click on a, a download link, uh, I get this pop-up that says downloads are disabled. And that's a pop-up that's provided by, uh, by Netscope because again, uh, we are controlling this, uh, this rendered scenario. The other um, use case here is if I go back to the, the website on the left that's not going through RBI, this is a, could be a website full of a, a bunch of data. There may be scenarios where you don't want employees to be able to go in and print all of the data on this complete website. It could even be an intranet, for example. Um, I'm going to right mouse button click and I'm going to select a print here. And with a built-in printing facility, um, I can create a PDF that, again, has the, all of these website components, right? If we want to block that, um, what I'm going to do is on the right-hand side here, I'm going to go ahead and, oh, there's the, the print option has been completely removed uh, from the contextual menu here. And this is, again, the RBI session. If I use my uh, keyboard command, uh, command P, um, printing is disabled. So we, we also disable the keyboard command uh, part of that uh, as well. So that's kind of the side-by-side, -side, again, comparison of uh, what, it, what it looks like from a user perspective, uh, going through a typical website versus going through a website that is rendered via Netscope native um, RBI. So let's go ahead and go back to the Netscope console here. And if I go to scope it and let's do uh, page events, this is our event by event monitoring uh, system, uh, what we can go ahead and do is uh, look at uh, basically uh, the results of this. And here you can see, for example, the sports.bwin.com is a, a category of, of, of gambling. So you get all of the, uh, the details. It was using uh, HTTP2, and it did go through uh, Netscope uh, isolation in this particular uh, example. So there you have it. That is a Netscope native remote browser isolation. Thank you very much.